Hello, hopefully you can see and hear me. I am streaming across Devon, Cornwall and Plymouth this morning. So um, hopefully you can see and hear me at the moment. So I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join before I go into this. But yeah, if you can just let me know if you can hear me. Because um, as I said, I am, I'm streaming across Devon, Cornwall and Plymouth today. But I am in Plymouth. I'm at Plymouth Railway Station. And I'm here today as um, the Union RMT is striking, um, causing delays to cross-country services today. So, oh, thank you to Gareth and Carlos telling me you can hear me. So I'm going to go over in just a second to the strikers. Uh, Luke Pollard, MP. Plymouth was here earlier, showing his support, and I'm just going to turn the camera around now and show you. So, as you can see, we are at Plymouth train station today. I'm going to go over and talk to Barry West, who is kind of put this whole thing together today. And we're going to find out just exactly why they're striking. And as I said, there will be some delays today, Christmas Eve, on cross-country trains. So I'm just going to show you again. Flip my mic in. There are some of the individuals that are striking today. So before I go over and talk to Barry where he can explain a little bit more. I'm just going to briefly tell you about what's actually what's actually happening. So basically today, Christmas Eve, Rail Union RMT are on strike. So it's, it's over an assault on the role of the guard after the company snubbed a possible settlement in last ditch talks today. Well, actually, I think it was, it wasn't today. It was yesterday, I think. Um, so as you can see, they are striking today. So I'm just going to go over. As you can see, it is also raining. So I'm going to I'm going to head over into the shelter. They were uh, outside the lovely Plymouth Station sign earlier, but um, now decided to shelter in the without the rain. So um, hi Barry, this is Barry West. Morning. Um, so if you could just tell us a little bit about why you're here today. Yeah, um, we're here today um, uh, to talk about uh, defending safety critical roles. First of all, though, we'd like to apologise to the travelling public. Um, this is a dispute that we didn't want to enter in, that we didn't want to be involved in. But the, uh, we're, we're, we apologise and we're disappointed that cross-country trains have not taken the opportunity to try and avoid this dispute. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a, a time of year when people want to travel and go and see their family. So we like to apologise. We've left the door open. We said we'll talk to them. We are available for talks. And unfortunately, cross country have done you know, very little to try and remedy this. And there is a simple solution. So we're here today um, because basically they want to undermine the role of the train manager and senior conductors. Uh, they've been bringing in um, additional people which are not safety critical staff, you know, is a safety critical role. And, and um, our concern is that basically by using, uh, not, not using trained guards, you know, conductors and senior managers in the role, it will undermine safety for the public. And that's our concern. So job security and safety of the public is our concern. Great. And so obviously you're dealing with this today and you're also doing it on, uh, new, is it 31st? It's the 31st of December, yeah. So, you know, we're very concerned. This is not about pay. This is about job security. This is about safety. Brilliant. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just going to head back over there now. I hope you could, um, hope you could hear what Barry was saying there because I'm having a bit of, having a bit of technical troubles with my phone today. So hopefully you can hear what he was saying. So I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand back over here now. So as you could hear from what Barry was saying, um, basically. It's not about pay, it's about safety of the guards. Um, and, and that's basically why, why they're here today. So um, if you are traveling, if you are traveling today, then 
just be aware that there will be some delays on Christmas Eve and also on the 31st as well. So I'm just going to show you again um, the small group that has collected its good turnout today. And as I said, I'm at Plymouth Railway Station as this strike is going ahead. So just in case you couldn't hear what Barry was saying, um, basically they're here today. They're not striking for pay. It is a case of safety on the role of the guard. And it is a bit rainy today. They were stood outside Plymouth Station, but obviously sheltering now <laughs> under the under the car park for a bit more warmth. So as I said, if you are planning to travel today, just have a look uh, at the website because there will be some, some changes, some delays. So really this comes after RMT train managers and senior conductors, they, they voted overwhelmingly for action. So, um, Basically, the company has sought to draft in other staff to carry out their roles. So basically, they're striking today from, they started at 9 a.m. and they'll be here until 12. And then they will also be doing another, another strike, another demonstration on the 31st on New Year's Eve. So I, I guess you can expect delays then as well. So, as I said, I'm having a few technical difficulties. I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. As I said, I'm streaming across the three platforms this morning. So, hopefully, you were able to hear most of what Barry said. And also, you can see exactly what's going on. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, obviously an important issue. As you can see, just showing you the group that have gathered today. And Luke Pollard, Plymouth MP, was here earlier showing his support on Christmas Eve. So this is the picket line today and it will be here. We'll be here until 12. So I'm just going to read out now what one of the managing directors at Cross Country has said in, in response to this, in, in, in a way. So Tom Joyner at Cross Country said, we are disappointed by the result of the ballot and the intention to strike. It's designed to cause maximum disruption at a time when people are looking forward to spending time with loved ones. This is damaging to our industry and Im importantly our customers at a time when we should be building confidence in traveling by train. We remain open to continuing talks with the RMT to prevent this strike. However, the action will cause significant disruptions to our services. So that was Tom Joyner, Managing Director at Cross Country in response to the strikes. And you can find out 
more information on our websites, Plymouth Live, Cornwall Live and Devon Live about the strikes and whether they're taking place near you. So Cross Country have also said that customers are strongly advised to alter their plans and where possible to avoid travel on a strike day. As Barry said, he is sorry. You know, the group are sorry for any disruptions, but uh, they feel it is an important, important strike. So uh, I'm just going to read you now, hello I'm back, I'm just going to read you now what um, what General Secretary Mick Lynch said about, about the strike. So he, he's obviously part of the RMT and it says, the RMT is angry and disappointed that an attempt to reach a negotiated settlement in talks yesterday was kicked in, into touch by cross country. As a result, the action goes ahead as planned. This dispute is about a systematic attempt by cross country to undermine the role of the senior conductors and train managers by drafting in other staff to do their jobs. Cross country needs to understand that they already have trained and competent guards that are available and ready to work. They need to stop with their underhand measures and attempts to train up various other employees to undertake the safety critical role of the guard. The strike could have been resolved if people were simply allowed to just get on with their own job and company and the company stop threatening the long-term futures of our members and compromising safety as a consequence the company have knocked back that sensible and rational approach we remain available for further talks so that was general secretary mike lynch who was saying that so um again that is part of the reason why this strike is going on today so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna move around here so as you can see, I am at Plymouth Station and we are at the strike. So if you do have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will try and answer them as best that I can. But if, if you uh, don't have the answer that you're looking for, then you can visit Devon Live, Cornwall Live, Plymouth Live for more information on this strike today. So, so yes, please let me know if you do have any questions and thank you for bearing with me. I am having some technical issues where I can't seem to turn my, my camera around. So hopefully you can see what's going on. But there are a number of people from the RMT here with RMT flags. They've got leaflets, posters, talking to people. A number of people have uh, stopped by to show their support including Luke Pollard, Sutton and Devonport MP. And this will be going on until 12 today. And there will also be a strike on the 31st. But it is, um, it's interesting to come down and, and talk to the, the people that are involved in this. And as I said, you can find out, you know, a little bit more about why, why this is happening on on our websites, because um, it's you know it's an interesting issue to to read up on. So I am going to bring this Facebook Live to an end now, but as I said, if you do have any questions, please put them in the comments, and me or one of my colleagues will try and answer them. Um, and also just let us know your thoughts 
and hopefully you've been able to hear and see me on Devon, Plymouth and Cornwall live and I will catch you on the next one. So thanks so much for watching and visit our website for more information.